Hi, my name is Wang Shijiang. I'm a scientist working on MRA at Sutiva R&D. The first thing we had to consider when working with MRA is to maintain a nucleus-free environment. MRAs are single-stranded and their chemistry makes them more susceptible to enzyme degradation uh, compared to a double-stranded DNA. And RNA-degrading enzymes or RNAs are present in all living things. In fact, we are the main source of contamination when working with MRA, since RNAs are present on our skin, in our tears, saliva, and perspiration. So RNAs are extremely tolerant uh, to most chemical and biological conditions. Uh, for instance, RNAs-A can tolerate both boiling and uh, autoclaving. So far, there is no RNA elimination method that is compliant with biopharmaceutical production. Um, with that said, the best method is to uh, prevent and to monitor your RNAs activity. To start with, you need a dedicated area and equipment for MRA work. And then it's important uh, to limit contact by wearing lab coat, mouse protection and gloves. And, and then it is important to use uh, certified RNAs-free grade uh, reagents and consumable whenever possible. Also, check very regularly for RNAs activity. Uh, for instance, by, R, uh, by fluorescence-based detection method or by mixing mRNA with your test solution and check for degradation on agarose gel. These precautions would help you a long way uh, in limiting uh, RNAs activity and protect vulnerable mRNA material.